Okay, my name is Dr. Ete Desmond Roland, BSc Geology, MSc Exploration Geophysics, and PhD Exploration Geophysics. And I have other technical courses that I've done, a lot of them. International courses, not just local courses, too. I also have advanced diploma in geographical information system. And I've done training, a lot of training calls on digital technology. So we have a lot of things to do, but we'll try as much as possible to fuse it so that you can understand young generation. And it's important for we to give this awareness and show you what digital technology can solve, can do. We have a lot of dreams here. Some person wants to be doctors. Some person want to be engineers. Some person want to be like me too, to be a geologist and be a scientist and the rest of them. But we cannot do without digital technology. So you need to understand. And it's important for you to understand that technology is, is what rules the world, both in art, science, the medical field, the engineering field, structural field, even in this building. The design patterns, we use digital technology. During our time, most of these things, we don't even know them as digital technology. We, we do them in our homes every day up to now. Even you guys, you do them. When a, a, your mom prepares a list that wants to go to market, we are x Xmas period, it makes lists. Ah, this is my priority. This I will give my child. How, do you, how does she get the money? When she works, she will come back and make those lists to provide those uh, facilities or items for you guys. So what does she do? She puts those things in a list. And how for she to merge all these lists? In those days, it was manual. But now we now have a system that you can plan. It plans for you. It plans for you and makes you to understand what should I do at the wrong time or things I should not do that will affect my, the economy in the house. So in essence, we see how we could leverage some of this knowledge to young generation. And particularly today, we'll be essentially uh, dealing with digital technology in data science and machine learning. That's what we'll be dealing with today. And I'm here to give you an eye opener and show you some of the things we can do. Let me give you an example. Have you, you, you all watch movie, right? You saw electric cars, self-driven cars. It is people like you that did those things. Out of the knowledge that you've gotten from classroom, they think outside the box and they build those things. You've been here Elon Musk. Before, nobody knows Elon Musk, but today, we are all over. It is what digital technology that solves those problems. So, let me also bring one of the things to you. In the banking industry, technology, in this place, AI does all those things now. AI does all those things. Recently, a 12 year old girl in uh, is it US did a discovery where she did a device that could trap virus from the air. Somebody from this place can discover something that, was, that the, the world will know you. But sometimes you need awareness. At the young age, you need awareness. This awareness will help you to achieve those things. So thank you all more. But when we, we are done with the stuff, we'll do a rush down, then we'll do it into a practical section that will help you guys. I don't want to talk too much. I just want you to see it and you will believe it. And at the end of the day, you'll go home. And if you have system in your private time after your classroom work and the rest, you can do it by yourself. And at least you start seeing yourself, I can do something different. I can change the society with the knowledge I'm actually getting, even right now in your school. Thank you. Yes. Data science adventures, how digital technology shapes our world. So you can see the subtitle of the day is Unlocking the Power of Data, the highest in life. That's why I have to encourage you guys with this. So let me just um, give. So this is introduction to digital technology. So in today's world, digital technology plays a vital role, which I really I explained earlier, in various fields. Like I said uh, earlier that you, they use it in doing, manufacturing so many things, down to the devices, your phone, down to the, the screen, this digital uh, screen TV. It all comes forward, digital technology. 
the things we enjoy today came from digital technology. And it's very important for we to take advantage of the knowledge that we are having today. So let me give you this pictorial angle of this image. This image tells a lot of story. When you look at this place, this chart, and you look, this one tells a lot of story. This image tells a lot of story. This person sitting down tells a lot of story. Now, assume yourself sitting down. These people are you. All of you are the one handling a system. And you're solving, trying to solve problem in the society. Let me assume all of you here are data scientists. Or let me say 80% of this place, of this place they are dealing with either data scientists, data analytics, cyber security, projects, copywriters, and a whole lot. And all of you are sitting in these spots. Solving, just to solve a problem. Just to solve a problem. So what we are trying to say is that digital technology transform the world, both in the industry, economic, and the society. So data science in action. When we say data science in action, are the things we can produce out of the knowledge you've acquired. We, we, are, we are all aware of the fraud nature that they used to, call, they used to mention, that ah, this is a thief, this internet frauding, this person is doing this. With the help of what? This digital technology, you can deal with, look at the fraud detection. You can deal with fraud. When you go to hospitals, in most of these advanced clinic now, everything you do is automated. You see, even when you go back, you see yourself in the skeletal nature of yourself, physical structure of yourself. You see it on the screen. It, it deals with what? Health sector, which is the digital technology too. Even diseases, we are all aware of COVID-19 that occur. Yes, thank you. How do they tackle COVID-19? It is with digital technology. How do they monitor how, when this virus is actually going down? It is with the help of digital technology. That is why we project this. We call it the Earth. So whatever we are doing, all, doing today has to do with the Earth. Let me come down to transportation. You, how many of you have you've used boats? Boat. Maybe your parents have booked boats. Thank you. The app that they produce is from digital technology. How do they know social location that you're standing? Now, one of the training I wanted to do is just because of the device too. What I wanted to show you, how you could, just a three line code, just a three line, just one, two, three. You will see the map of the whole country and you can you identify your house by yourself. This is just a three line code. Highest sentence, it will not pass from here to here like this. Three line, you will see it. So that's a part of the thing I wanted to do, but ever, now I'm bringing ideas that you've done before or your, one way you've seen them. So let's talk about climate change. This is our problem. How many of you, your house has submerged during this period? Your house submerged? Flood. Did you see some person's house submerged? A lot, yes. So you can use this device too to predict flooding to monitor flooding, to even know the various buildings that have been affected. Good enough, flooding is what you've seen. And part of our example, we are going to, in the part of the side, we also use flood. So it's very nice that you're, you're also seeing it. So the, the future of data science. You've seen robotic. You've seen robotic, right? You've been, I know that you've taught robotic. You play games. You see the wonderful thing what robotic is doing. Self-drive cars are all made from this. So you can see that's why the AI comes to play to do things to reduce the stress of thinking. But you need to get the knowledge to understand when there's an anomaly in the AI. So you can see Internet of Things are things we do every day. We play games too. Always, we don't know. I encourage my friend. I used to see a son play games a lot. I said, no. He should start coding his game. Play his game. Why? You cannot be always dealing with people's idea. Build your idea and use science play a great role making decisions for planning, 
and without stress. Do you believe today was my own experience to we had lots of things to discover. We did so many important and I had a little bit of film of this kind of facility. Knowledge is always good for me. We learned a whole lot of things. We got acquainted with some new technologies that I used to work with some of the of problems. So I also spent the same day with Dr. Tesh Hanapi. What's it going to happen? Forms of technology to create and make the world a better place. Thank you for coming here. We are really happy. Thank you. We love data science. We love data science. Okay, so in data science, we discovered a lot, a whole lot of things. We talked about how data science can solve most of our economic issues, such as flooding and the rest. We also talked about climate change, which is which is a basic factor, and we haven't really noticed it. We won't really notice it on the, until the day it dawns on us. But with the help of some simple tools like uh, Google Map, we can discover ways on how to um, solve that problem. Thank you. Well, we've learned a lot of things on data science. I've learned that data science, we can use data science to solve lots of problems in the society, even minor things that cause death and loss. We can use data science to study the universe and how everything functions. We can use data science to study uh, people and their interactions. We can also use it to study animals. We can use it to study climate and weather change. So that when any natural disaster like flooding happens, you can actually use the data, the things you have used in data science to find out solutions and problems to it. Thank you. I was able to impact knowledge on digital technology in data science where I make them to understand how data science and digital technology rule the world. Mm -hmm.